Right, hi guys, this is Mike here again from Mike's Model Zone on Facebook. Um, now, I know I got four rare kits off this guy that I did the swap with for the KC135. And um, I'm reviewing another Voodoo. I have had the Revel uh, Voodoo and I've already built that one. But this one is by Hesegwa or Hasawa or whatever you want to call it. I can't quite pronounce the name. Um... But well, here it is anyway. So this is the RF one oh one C Voodoo. And it's a single seat version of it. And uh from what I can gather, um it's a little bit different than the other voodoo I had. So I'll put everything to there and show you bit by bit. So first of all we have the instructions, so the instructions are pretty straightforward. Um, you know, they've got some Japanese writing on and everything. Obviously, the camo version I'm going for straight away because it's the best version. And as soon as you open this leaflet, it's like very, very good in a sense because it's not all. Yeah. Because you can see straight away but just by all the information that you can see. Comes with a little guy as well, so <laughs> even though I might not be bothering with a little guy, um, but it's very straightforward as you can see, which is what I like to see. And it's also got the uh, way you put the decals and everything, and then shows you how to camo it and that. So, yeah, uh, coming to the decals part of it, they really are nicer decals. Um, these are the decals I got with the actual kit itself. Um, so, they are really nicer decals on this one. So, I'm really impressed. And obviously it's got the clear glass, as you can see there. So that's not bad either. Now the kit, however... It's very, very different. And what I mean by different is when you buy the Revell one, the Revell one's okay, but I wouldn't say it was fantastic. But judging on this one, it's a little bit better than the Revell one. In fact, a lot better actually. No flashing issues on this, it's just straightforward. Sorry about the noise guys, just trying to get this out of the bag and sell it it's stuck to a bloody kit because you're ready. Right. right, so first of all, we've got the bottom part of the kit. So if I hold it up there's no like panel lines on it you can't actually see no panel lines on this at all which is a bit of a shame because I always like a little bit of uh, detail on these kits um, apart from that look it's, it's all right I wouldn't say it was fantastic but it's all right so that's the first part of it it's the same as this one as well this one's exactly the same. Mm. I wouldn't say I'm going crazy over this model. But I do like it. In the sense that it's a little bit better than the uh, Ravel one. But it could have uh, been better. I will say that. Uh, the wings however. Are <laughs> the wings are good. Don't get me wrong. They've got panel lines on them, which is okay. But that's the part I don't get, because the fuselage, you can't hardly see any panel lines on it at all. But then when you look at the bottom, it's got panel lines on the bottom, so that's a bit um, weird. Um, but there's no flashing on it, which I like, so that's another bonus. 
Because, you know, you get those kits and it's got, like, tons of flash on you. Like, oh, God. You know, you can't be bothered to build them or faff around with them. So, yeah, you get three sprues all together in the Voodoo. So, it's not a bad kit to go for. Um, it's alright, actually. Um, yeah. So that's just my review of the uh, Voodoo and I will be getting more kits obviously so just keep in mind and I'll be uh, surprising you all later with quite a few kits when I get them. So thanks for watching this review and have a nice day everyone. Bye.